hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to unbox a 56 acdc automatic incubator and let us see what is inside the box and guys if you are new on this channel please subscribe hit the notification bell so that anytime i upload any video you'll be notified <laughs> Okay guys, this is the incubator itself, well packed in a white styrofoam and this is how it looks like. This is the top styrofoam cover, this is the top styrofoam cover. Okay, this is the top part of the incubator, this is the top part of the incubator, the one which has the readings. And then uh, we have the turbo fan here. This is the turbo fan. And then we have the humidity sensor here. It, it also has the temperature sensor here. This is the temperature sensor. It has the motor turning cable here. This is the motor turning cable. And you are supposed to plug it to this cable here. This cable down here. This cable is from the turning motor in order for the egg turning to take place and then we have this mesh plate for hatching it comes with the manual it comes with the manual you can go through it and learn how it works by yourself the box contains nine turning rollers with sprocket at one end these are the eggs turning roller Okay, this is the right arrangement of rollers inside this incubator. And the eggs are placed in between the rollers. Just like this. And then we have the turning motor cable here. And it has to be plugged with this other one from the top here. In order for the turning to take place, you have to do this. You have to plug the two cables together. just like this yeah. okay for the sake of demonstration we are going to use AC power this is the AC power cable yeah you remember I told you that this is a AC DC incubator so you can uh, plug both of them if you have the DC and AC you can plug both of them but the AC will be given first priority. When the power goes off, it will change automatically to DC. This is the DC power cable. You can plug both of them. Yeah. And the box also contains this bottle here for topping up water. You add water when humidity goes below 55. It's when you add water. Okay, these are the reading for the for the incubator. Down here we have the humidity reading, which is right now is at 58. And then we have another reading here. These are number of days, days count and after every 24 hours the figure keep on adding. Yeah, this one is for number of days. And then we have here countdown, countdown for turning, which usually start from uh, 1.30, 1 minute, 30 minutes. When it reaches zero, it turns. So uh, this is the countdown for turning, for eggs turning. And then here we have the temperature reading, which which is uh, 27.9, but it will keep on increasing because we have just started our incubator right now. As time goes by, the temperature will keep on increasing up to around 38.0, which is the default setting for the incubator. Yeah. And then we have these buttons here. 
remember i told you that the default setting for this incubator is 38.0 but if you want to customize the reading you'll come and use this these buttons here to change the temperature and humidity like for example if you want to change the temperature setting you'll come and uh, press this set button once and then the the number will start blinking when it started blinking you'll adjust you'll uh, either increase or decrease the the figure if you want to set the humidity you do the same thing you come and you press the set button when you see the humidity figure blinking you adjust the setting and then you leave it for a while until the whole thing blink it will blink like twice and then your setting will be saved so this is how you you adjust the temperature after setting and then you leave for a while and then it will blink like that that means that the setting have already been saved if you want to set the humidity if you want to change the humidity you come here you come here and when you see it blinking you come and adjust it very fast depending to the amount of humidity you want the incubator to operate with okay this incubator comes with the inbuilt candler torch this one is for candling and the candling is supposed to be done after seven to ten days to see whether there is any formation taking place inside the egg and it has a switch down here this is the switch for the candler and guys another important point you are supposed to keep in mind is that so the last three days of incubation the rollers are supposed to be removed so you don't forget don't let them hatch on the roller okay guys you have come to the end of our today tutorial and i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you have liked it please do not forget to give me that thumbs up subscribe and share the video have a nice time till we meet again to another tutorial bye bye